Hi, welcome to our lesson for today. And our focus is on systems technology. We still look at some introduction concepts of computing. If you remember the previous lesson, we looked at different types of computers. Now for you to be able to use your computer correctly, you need to understand how the different parts work and what is the process involved in terms of using your computer. So I'm going to give you an example in terms of understanding this process and hopefully you will know how to use a computer. Now this process that we're going to look at is called information processing cycle. Now it's a process that has to take place in terms of using your computer where we look at input, output, processing as well as communication. Now look at this example. At the end of each term at school, you get a report. Now, how does it come that you get a report? You write tests, you write cycle tests, you write exams. And all of those marks have to be compiled into one so that it can generate a term mark or a year mark. Now, this is the process that happens. Firstly, you get your input where your marks will be entered into a system. Then secondly, your marks will be processed into a term mark or a year mark where you divide and multiply. Then thirdly, you would get output, which is going to be the results out of the processing of the marks or would be the output where you get your report being printed. Remember, output can be in different forms, but we're going to look at that in the later stage. And then lastly would be communication. Communication is when you receive the report or your parent receives the report. So this is the process that happens whenever you use a computer. It can either be entering data, typing on a document, it still follows this process. All right. Now the next focus would be on looking at each step individually. Now the input, as I've explained before, would be marks entered into the system. Secondly, processing is when your computer will calculate if it's a pass or fail. Thirdly, is output when a report will be generated on the screen or it can be stored and printed later. All right. Lastly, communication where your report would be given to the parent or it can also be emailed. Remember, communication can be brought. The fact is you are receiving some sort of communication in a form of an email or in a form of a printout. Right, so this is our information processing cycle that makes you understand how a computer works. Then the next part is understanding different components of a computer. Now these components are very essential in terms of making this process happen. Without these components, that process would ev eventually not happen. Right, so let's look, let's look at these components one by one. These components are actually first split or separated into two sections where we have hardware and software. Now, do you know what is that? Well, it is one computer, but it's split into hardware and software. Now, what is hardware? Hardware would be your tangible or your physical parts of a computer that you are able to see and touch. So your screen, your keyboard, your mouse would be such examples. Software now would be the instructions that tells your hardware what to do. But now another thing that is important is that your software is different. We have your application software and you have your system software. Now take note of those words which we'll discuss later on. Now, software, do not be uh, surprised when you see or you hear someone saying a program. They're also referring to software. Right. Now, let's look at these devices now. The first device would be your input device where we see a mouse and a keyboard. Second devices, we've got your output devices where we have a screen and a printer. Third devices, you get your storage devices, your hard drive, USB and RAM. 
And then lastly, you have communication devices where you can have email or fax. Now that we know these devices, now let's find out how these devices actually link in terms of making that process, which we called information processing cycle, to be possible. Now when you start typing in your marks, you would be using your keyboard or your mouse, which is your input device. Secondly, your information would be processed. Where is it processed? Through the RAM and through your CPU. Remember, RAM is part of storage, but it, it's actually temporary, so it doesn't store information permanently. Then thirdly, you get your output where your report will be generated on the screen or will be printed. And lastly, you would have communication where you have to give a parent a uh, report or to actually fax the report. So basically, that's how your computer works, and that's the process involved, and these are the devices that you would need in order to use your computer. Thank you.